YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another pickups video for you here. Just a few items that I found today, but wanted to uh, share them, get them out of the way, and get them cleaned up. So let's get down to business right now. Uh, first place I stopped into was a Goodwill today. There's absolutely nothing in there for me. So that's kind of unfortunate, but um, that's the way that goes. Moving on from there, though, I walked into a Tlees and I actually came across a couple of really decent games, that's for sure. So I'll get into those right now. Uh, the first one here I'd never heard of before, but being a rather big fan of plucking for PlayStation 1, um, I wanted to check this out. It's a Psygnosis game, and it's called Cybedeck, which is basically like hoverboarding, uh, you know, hoverboarding races kind of thing, but they call them uh, hover decks. Other than hoverboards, I guess, maybe that was taken by, uh, <laughs> you know, Back to the Future sort of idea, but uh, still cool nonetheless. For that one, I paid five bucks, and you can see the screenshots and stuff like that in the back. Pretty cool um, all around, so the disc on this guy here is pretty decent. There is a small scratch, like, on it that you can kind of see that it goes around uh, the outside. I don't, it's hard to point out what I'm holding it with one hand, but, um, you know, hopefully that won't interfere with anything, and I'll be able to uh, play that one. Didn't, don't really know a whole lot about this title, but still, a um, PlayStation 1 title I didn't have, I figured I'd go for that. Moving on from there, I also picked up a copy of Forsaken 64, which I don't know a whole lot about. Um, I think this is a shooter or something like that? I don't really know, um, but I figured uh, N64 titles aren't are coming around that frequently, so thought I would pick this one up, but it was five bucks. Um, same as the other one, obviously, because, you know, coming from Toulouse, that's the usual price. And the last one, which I knew about and really happy to add into the collection because I didn't have it already. Um, I really wish they would put the stickers where they put them on these, but for some reason, they do that, and it is Jet Force Gemini. And you can see what I mean by the sticker placement, they chuck it right on the back. Uh, five bucks for that one as well. Really cool, this is a rare, rare title. Um, not overly valuable, but something I definitely wanted to get into my collection, and um, people have really good things to say about that title, so something I wanted to check out for myself. Uh, moving on, I went into a value village, and this is where it got kind of interesting. Um, I found myself some Megan Fox in there, which is really nice, um, if you know what I mean. And this is Transformers Tales of the Fallen, so this is a Fan Expo uh, Canada exclusive magazine or something like that. Maybe it's a comic. I don't really know. Um, but I thought, it was, I thought I'd was check it out and uh, the cover kind of sold me. And I knew it was from, from Fan Expo, so it's kind of neat right there. Yeah, so it is actually a comic. Um, like I said, don't know a whole lot really about this, but I'll probably uh, put that into a trade package or something for somebody just because uh, it's a Fan Expo Canada exclusive. So, you know, uh, people from the States or something that never made it to Fan Expo Canada would be able to uh, enjoy something like that. So that's that. And then also at the same value village. Um, oh, sorry, that was a, basically a dollar, um, but I had a 30% off card, which I used for this, which is an NES system. I'm not going to pull it all out, but um, I think this is the system itself. There's a couple of controllers in there and the uh, light gun and the power supply. Also, the AV cable that goes along with it and then the system itself is right here, so pretty cool. Um, looks in decent shape, I did power it on, I haven't actually tested it, but I did power it on, and it seems to be pretty good to go. The only thing is, is it well, has this tendency to want to come apart here, and I don't really know why, because it looks to me like there are screws in it. So maybe the screw mounts or something in it may be messed up, I'll have to take a look and just see what's going on there, because you can see I kind of lift up the back. But then the last pretty cool, um, and because I was able to use my 30% off card on this, the original price was $25 or $24.99, so I was able to basically get it for $20 with like taxes in and everything like that. It was like 19 and change, because um, it was 750 with tax, so 
pretty awesome deal right there for sure. Um, I'll be able to clean that up and hopefully uh, bundle it with some games or whatever and sell that off, which is something I want to do so I can, uh, you know, fund my collection kind of thing. So pretty good deal, I think, for $17 or 20 bucks almost. And then finally this last item, which is kind of weird because uh, I've been seeing Liquid Wayno pick these up in his videos lately. And um, he'll be impressed to see this one. It's a orange, I think they call it Spice Orange GameCube controller. Now this is the real deal, this is an official one. Uh, not a knockoff or anything like that. I found this at a Goodwill today. Uh, just sitting by itself sort of on a shelf. It's in really good shape for the most part, I think. Uh, not too bad at all and like no scratches or anything like that on it it's pretty beautiful it's actually pretty clean as well like i don't even think i really need to clean this so that's really wicked right there and for that they wanted three dollars which um i'll pick up gamecube controllers all day long for three bucks everything in it is in really great shape like right down to the plug and everything so that's pretty awesome right there um i'm using wave birds for the most part uh, with my Wii to play GameCube games, so I don't really know if I'm going to hold on to this. Um, I feel that uh, Liquid Wayno might have been saying something about the fact that he was looking for one of these, so this may be um, up for trade for you, man, because honestly, I don't really have any particular uh, need for this as far as that goes, because like I said, I do have the Wave for controllers, although I do really like this color, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but that's that. That's everything that I picked up today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, a lot of interesting stuff in there. Obviously, I don't need another NES, but to be able to get that so cheaply and to be able to use that for trade bait and things like that later is pretty awesome. Obviously, finding this is pretty neat to me and really looking forward to getting to Jet Force Gemini. Uh, something that I always wanted to get a hold of, but just uh, people were not really asking the right price for it. Uh, for $5, definitely something I wanted to pick up. So. That's everything for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.